Well, hello, Park Road Church. I haven't done one of these in a long time, probably since over the summer, but I thought at this point in time, I wanted to do a little bit of a series on discipleship on the go about faith. And we're going to look at four different areas about faith. And the first one that we're going to talk about today is the definition of faith. What does it mean to have faith in God? Merriam-Webster's definition of faith is this. Allegiance to duty or a person, loyalty, lost faith in the company's president, could be a way that you might use it in that sense. It says fidelity to one's promises. Faith can mean a sincerity of intentions, as in she acted in good faith. Faith is belief and trust and loyalty to God, belief in the traditional doctrines of religion, firm belief in something for which there is no proof. An example would be she was clinging to the faith that her missing son would one day return. It says complete trust. It says something that is believed, especially with strong conviction. And so those all kind of help us to form what the word faith means. But in order for us to really understand what the word faith means, let's get right to the Bible and see what the Bible says about faith when we're trying to find this definition. And the faith that I'm speaking of today is not the faith that is a noun. I'm not talking about the Christian faith in, in, a, in a generality. We're not talking about the faith of the believers, the Christian faith. We're not talking about that. We're talking about more of faith as a verb. What does it mean to believe, to have faith in God? Hebrews 11.1 1 is a great start to find a foundation of what biblical faith is. Hebrews 11.1 1 in the NIV says, Now faith is the confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. The NLT, the NLT says, Faith shows the reality of what we hope for. It is the evidence of things we cannot see. ESV, now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. King James Version, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Amplified Version says, now faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for, being the proof of things we do not see and the conviction of their reality. Faith perceiving as real fact what is not revealed to the senses. Sometimes when you go through the Bible, you can look at different translations to help you get a different aspect of what the scriptures are bringing about or what the Greek is really intending. And so I think these versions are a great foundation for our definition of what faith is. We see that faith is confidence, faith is the reality, faith is the assurance, the substance and the confirmation. So what is faith, the confidence, the confirmation, reality, assurance, and substance about? What, what is this faith about? And simply put, it's what we hope for. A really quick point about hope that we'll get into in one of the other videos is that if we have hope without biblical faith, it's like trying to nail jello to a wall. Hope alone will not receive the promises of God but it's hope combined with faith. And we'll see that as we get it more into our definition here. Faith is the confidence, reality, assurance, substance, and confirmation about what we hope for. Faith is the assurance, evidence, conviction, and the proof of what we do not see. When we need to pray to God and ask him for something, and we pray according to his word, we pray according to his promises, Maybe we're struggling with the loss of a loved one and we really need God's peace. Well, we can't see that peace. We can't pick it up with our physical hands. But when we have faith that his word says that Jesus will give us peace, he is our Prince of Peace. So we have promises to stand on. When we see those promises, what faith does is it takes those promises and says, that is my truth. That is the reality, not what I'm feeling, but what God's word actually says about the situation. I really love how the amplified version of the Bible puts Hebrews 11.1. 1. Let's read that again. Now, faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for, being proof of things we do not see and the conviction of their reality, faith perceiving as real fact what is not revealed to the senses. If you know a little something about street racing, Two cars, they're souped up, they work on them hard, and sometimes they have street races. Well, they'll say, all right, my car versus your car, whoever wins gets the pink slip or the title deed. And so they'll line up and do a drag race, and whoever loses has to give up the title to their car to the other person. It's a high stakes thing that sometimes people do. Now, let's say that 
I won the race. I, I'm in a race and I won and I get that, that pink slip. Even if that guy would drive his car home, park it in his own garage, as long as I go home with that title deed in my name, I have the rightful ownership to that car. It doesn't matter if I can't see it, doesn't matter if I can't touch it or feel it, but when I have that title deed in my name, in my hand, I am legally the rightful owner of that car. So at any moment I could go and say, I want my car now, it's time for me to take it home with me because I have the title deed. So it is the same with faith in the promises of God. When we believe his word, which is true for us, and we take his promises and say yes and amen, I have faith in your word, in your promises, we don't have to see it before we believe it. We don't have to be like doubting Thomas and say, I won't, I won't believe until I see and touch and feel where the nails went into the side or to the, the hands of Jesus and the spear was in his side. Blessed are those who believe and yet do not see. And so when we have faith in God's promises, that is our title deed. We see with the eye of faith. And so when I say I need peace in my life, I believe his word, that is my assurance of the things that I hope for that I have faith in his promises, and that is my title deed. I might not be able to feel peace in the moment, I might not feel it in the next hour, but I know that peace is mine, or whatever promise you need from God or in his word is yours. We think about the promise of eternal life in heaven. Heaven is ours. Eternal life is ours, not because we physically can grab a hold of it, it's because we have it by faith. That faith is a title deed which gives us rightful ownership to our place in heaven because of our faith in Jesus Christ. Be blessed.